Thanks to the fans. Chris Robinson here with the Mayweather Boxing Club. Uh, Andre Drell, haven't talked to you for a minute, man. How have you been? How is everything, man? Everything's going pretty good, man. Just signed with the money team recently, man. Um, been making trips out here back and forth from uh, Florida to Vegas. I just recently moved down to Florida a month ago, so I'm just getting my life in order, getting my fight uh, game in order, and um, looking for the future. And everybody's talking about the money team. Um, can you kind of tell me what prompted that move, how everything kind of fell into place for, the, for you? Well, um, Floyd called me out during his camp, you know, um, um, with, a, with, the, with the Cotto fight. You know, he called me out like a, a, a two weeks before the fight, came yeah. down, had a good meeting, man, had a great meeting, um, and came back for a left for his fight, came back for a follow-up a week later, and uh, everything pretty much fell into place, man. So that Cotto camp, that's where you kind of got to know 50 a lot, exactly, too, and that's exactly. everything got fell into that place. That was my first time meeting 50 Cent, man, and, and realize how much of a businessman he really was, man, you know what I'm saying? Anytime you talk to him, he's talking business, you know what I'm saying? He's looking for the, he's looking for the, the, the not only the, 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 the right path, but the, the path that's going to get you to greatness, period. You know what okay. I'm saying? So it just, it's it, it, it's all just falling into place. It all sounds great. It all seems perfect, man. So, you know, I'm just, like I said, I'm just looking forward to it, man. And bigger and better things. So much, baby. And they uh, already, they got, you know, you, uh, Celestino Caballero, Gamboa. Mm -hmm. There's talks of Andre Berto, Zab right, Judah. Right. You surprised how they just, they're so kind of formidable names coming out of the game? I'm, I'm really loving it, man. I, I, I really am, man, because that's just letting me know, you know, what type of promotion the team I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with here. They're going for all the big names, all the big names. Look forward to being with them. And, um, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they're real business, man. Like I said, man, 50 knows the game. He's been in Floyd Shadow for 10, 11 years, man. He's been learning the game. So, yeah. you know, like I said, he knows what he's talking about. So, he's one of these big names. And, man, I'm seeing a, how big this promotion the company can be. And for me to be able to start it off for him, you know, that's a big accomplishment in, in itself. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm looking forward to see where this thing goes, both sides of the fence. And any ideas on a return or just anything tentative? The idea is definitely in November. You know what I'm saying? We're looking forward to it. Um, um, we have we have yet to set the venue, um, uh, find the fighter, but November, uh, mid November, is the is the date we're looking for. So um, I'm hoping that falls through, but I'm pretty sure it will. And you were mentioning in Florida that during your downtime you're going to keep busy mm -hmm. doing a little work mm -hmm. there. What what's the, what are you noticing about Florida? Mm -hmm. Um, it's hot. It's humid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm from Michigan. I deal with it anyway. But Florida's like at a whole other level. I'm in South Florida now, Boynton Beach, and um. Mm -hmm. Um, it's going pretty good. I'm 45, 50 minutes from Miami. I go down there once a week. Um, starting to get ready to spar with a couple of the Cubans. I've been talking to Gamboa and he's Gamboa. set some up for me. You yeah. know, I work at a gym down uh, right now there, though um, every other day in, in Palm Springs, California. Okay. Palm Beach Boxing, a great gym down there, man. Um, um, it's a 76 Olympian down there working, and uh, Mooney. Um, yeah. I can't remember his real name. We call him Mooney. Yeah. And the guy, um, Lewis, is the other coach down there. They're two great guys, man. Um, mm. And it's going pretty good, man. It's going pretty good. And so you, what, uh, you know, the latest with Gamboa? How often do you kind of talk to him? Um, all the time. I, 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 I would think he would be here today, but I, he, he might have taken off back at home. Mm. And I'm not sure, but um, I have a quick business uh, venture. I have to go to um, um, Los Angeles, and then I'll shoot back to um, um, Florida Monday. I mean, uh, Wednesday, you know, and. Um, and I'll be going down there from then. Next week, I'll start going down there once a week to get some work. Possibly Fifth Street as well, Fifth Street Gym okay. in Miami. But your camps will be in, your main camps will be in They'll Vegas. They'll be right here in Vegas. At the Mayweather Gym Project? Definitely, all the way. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm just ready to start camping and get it going. And do you think you'll see kind of like a, a, a lot of fighters coming to Vegas if TMT sets their operation out here? Do you think there'll be like a lot more fighters coming to Vegas to train if they're part of the TMT stable? You know, a, a fighter's going to train where he's most comfortable, mm -hmm. period. You know what I'm saying? Nothing's going to prompt, nothing big nor small is going to prompt him to, yeah. to, to to just come down to Vegas and train. But Vegas is the boxing capital, man. You know, yeah. it's a great place to train. You know, it just, but it's just what you're used to, what's going to keep you confident, what's going to keep you going, what's going to keep you motivated. So I say train where, you, train where you're most comfortable, man, and everything will work out, man. So, you know, I can't really call that. And do you have any thoughts on the Andre Ward Chad Dawson fight? Uh, it's it's going to be a great fight, man. I'm looking forward to it, man. Andre Ward is one hell of a fighter. We all know this. Mm. Chad Dawson moving down to 68. You know, um, I think it's going to I think it's going to be comfortable, man. So Ward's facing a tall, you know, uh, a solid boxer. So this will be definitely something new for him. And Ward is facing a, I mean, and um, and Dawson is facing a slick. 
you know, very smart, very wise fighter, Andre Ward. So he's going to be a tough challenge for both of them, but I see it turning out to be a great fight. And have you, Dawson used to train in Vegas a little bit. Uh, mm-hmm. Did you ever put in any work with him? We sparred, we sparred back when, when he was getting ready for his first world title, mm. when he uh, was getting ready to fight, um, um, I think he was fighting Adamac. Adamac, yep, yeah. Adamac, he fought Adamac. And we worked for a solid month, man, and the training was great, man. He gave me, I mean, we went back and forth, put it like that, man. Dawson is a tough fighter, like I said, he's solid. He knows, he knows how to go up and down. He's never in one place too long. So, uh, uh, um, Dawson is a great worker. And I worked back with War back in the Olympics. I know that was a long time ago, but me and War is pretty much like a chess match, man. It's, it's pretty much, I feel like, I feel like if me and War was to get in there and fight, it would have to be the, the one who, the one who sets the pace would be the one more likely to win so you know saying it'd be a tough fight but i see it being a chess match once again thanks and is uh there any word on how your brother anthony is doing is he doing okay I, uh, he flew out here with me um just just now i just took him back to the airport yeah. um today one o'clock but um uh, um they're saying he'll be be able to get back in the gym in another four months so right. you know he's off you know what i'm saying he's getting better he's walking on his leg he has a metal rod in his leg you know what I'm saying? But he's walking on it now. He's not even limping. You know what I'm okay. saying? So he's doing pretty good. He has a, um, a, a, a small surgery he has to get done on his hand. But, um, you know, they see him getting back in there within another four months. All right. Thanks a lot, Andre. Appreciate it. Yeah.